Welcome to the Health Runner Podcast. My name is Uriel Kaim, New York Times bestselling author, former professional athlete, and founder of Health Preneur, the world's leading company helping health and fitness experts start and scale high-end coaching businesses. If you want to attract more clients, learn how to convert them without feeling salesy, and deliver an amazing program for them on the back end, if you want to be inspired by what others just like you have gone through and how you can do the same no matter what life throws your way, then you are in the right place. Because every single week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're going to be bringing you the best to help you take your knowledge and expertise to the next level with your health or fitness coaching business. And if you enjoy what you see and hear and would like to take your business to the next level, then I invite you to check out our free online training over at healthpreneurgroup.com forward slash training. And for now, let's get into today's episode. Hey, hey, what's going on? Yuri here. Welcome back to today's episode. This is actually, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to do some Facebook Lives inside of our Facebook group, and then these will be used as our podcast episodes. So if you're watching live, well, be sure to jump in, say what's up in the comments, and if you're listening into the podcast, you can always join us inside of our Facebook group at healthpreneurgroup.com forward slash tribe. Today, I want to talk with you about the truth about building an online business. And this is a message that I'm going to continue to repeat over and over and over again because I think it's really important to understand this. So most people that come into our worlds come into our world because they're amazing at what they do. They're great practitioners, professionals, experts at helping people solve problems with their health. And the number one, the number one thing they want help with is how do I get more clients? How do I have a system for from marketing or getting clients coming in my door, and that's great. But when push comes to shove, the number one thing that I see um, as a potential objection or skepticism is that a lot of people we speak with, even just within our Facebook group or in, ge- in, ge- in general, is I don't want to spend a lot of money to acquire them, which essentially means I am not willing to spend money to acquire cl- clients. So let's let's just kind of put that as um, a bit of a context for a second. So here's the alternative is somehow people are supposed to find you, right? Now, if you're coming from the real world where you have a brick and mortar practice or even a gym or a studio, it's very different because people can walk down the street and they see a sign, they see your storefront, they see your clinic. Cool, let's check this out. So the offline world is a lot, I'll be very honest, it's a lot easier to build a business offline barring things like lease and overhead and stuff like that because there's more visibility. When you come online, you set up a website, no one is ever going to see it. You spend $10,000 you know, branding and stuff like that, it's a waste of money because no one's going to see that stuff and at the end of the day, no one cares about you, they just care about themselves. Just like you don't care about me, you care about your problem and the solution to that problem, okay? So... Here's the reality is that when you come online, you've got two ways of doing things. You can use your time or you can use your money. Those are the only two ways to build a business. And when it comes to building an online business in 2019 and 2020, it's very different than what it was when I started in 2006. When I started in 2006, I used a massive, massive amount of my own time and energy, blogging, videos, content creation, all of that stuff to eventually you know, build up our blog and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, it worked, but it took a long time, and it was a very different landscape back then. You know, with all the Google Google and Facebook algorithm changes now, like playing the posting stuff for free game is dead. Like, you guys, I really want you to understand this. You can't win playing that game. You cannot win playing that game. I was uh, just having Thanksgiving dinner with my family on the weekends up here in Canada, and I was talking with my brother who runs our health business, and, you know, we're just chatting about, you know, how the business has tr- really changed uh, since we started, you know, back in 2006. And I told him, I'm like, you know, knowing what I know now, here's what I should have done at the time. What I should have done in 2006 is I should have come online and instead of selling a $47 ebook or a workout program and somehow trying to figure out how to get a lot of traffic to my website and become an amazing copywriter to make that converts to people who don't even know me, what I should have done is figure out a way to just have a conversation with people and then just move them into an online coaching relationship. Hey, 
I'm going to be your virtual coach. We're going to work together. Instead of a forty-seven dollar book, it's four or you know it's two, three, four thousand dollars, whatever it is, for a certain length of time. That would have been a lot smarter. Because the biggest thing is that you have to, when you're starting your business, the only thing that matters, the only thing that matters is making money. You have to recognize that. You have to recognize that. Because if you don't make money, you're not going to be in business. And the number one thing that's going to hold you back from making money is lack of attention. Attention is the number one currency, is the most important currency right now and moving into 2020. Which means if no one knows who you are, they can't find you. If they can't find you, then, well, you're not going to be enrolling many clients. And if you can't enroll clients, then you can't make money, which means your business is going to go out of business. Now, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm, a, I'm a, like, listen, I'm an optimist. My blood type is B positive, right? So I always joke with people about, like, I'm a very positive, optimistic person, but it really, really, it really bothers me when I see well-intentioned, Smart people do stupid things. And building a business online the old way is downright stupid because it doesn't make sense. Logically, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so you said you, you, you come online or maybe you've been online for a little bit of time. You've got a website. Great. Now what? Oh, um, I'm going to blog on my website. Oh, great. How often are you blogging? Oh, once a week, once a month. Don't even, don't even do it because... You're competing against the WebMDs, the Healthline.coms. You will never get found in Google. Oh, but I'm going to post it on my website, and then I'll post the link on my Facebook page, and then people can go from there to read the post. Hey, go for it. But 2% of the people who follow you on Facebook are going to see your posts. We live in a day and age where free organic, the way, the free organic way of doing things is very challenging. And you have to understand that you're making a decision either way. And it's, listen, there's nothing wrong. Like, you just have to understand that if you go the free route, it's going to take you blood, sweat, and tears and a lot of time to make that work. I'm not saying it's impossible because it's not, but it's going to take you a long time to cut through the noise. If you're going to blog and if you're going to post on social media, here's the name of the game. You have to follow the advice of Gary Vee and Grant Cardone which means you have to create so much content that it cuts through the noise. You have to be so prolific with your content that it becomes almost annoying to the people who follow you. And don't worry about that because you know the wrong people will unfollow you anyways. But the problem is that it requires so much time, energy, and, and, and effort from you to do that. And the reality is that that's a choice, right? So listen, like... If you guys, I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Um, someone who just posted in the comments, there are definitely a struggle spending time on getting new leads, but for some of us, it's the only option when you don't have money to spend. I'm going to challenge you on that. I don't think that's the only option because here's the thing is that if you have the right system, you don't need to have money saved up. There's no budget. I don't have a budget of money in a briefcase every month that's going to say, okay, this is all I can spend on my Facebook ads. The way an entrepreneur approaches business is he says or she says, I have a system that I know will work. I'm willing to take a risk and invest $1,000 in Facebook ads, for instance, to drive people into my business. And if I spend 1000 and if I get one enrollment for three, dollars $4,000, I'm good. I'm good. But guys, you have to think like an investor because if you don't, you will be you're going to have to grind it out. That's the only the only alternative is to grind it out because if you just try to post occasionally, it's a losing game. So either you do the free method and you go, you know, gangbusters with that, or you say I'm going to spend money. And money buys speed. Now, I'm not saying you do this without the proper guidance and systems and whatever because you have to know what you're doing. I'm not saying go waste money, but the thing is you're not going to be seeing if you're posting free content for the most part. So you have to pay to play. That's the reality of, of the game in 2019, 2020. So here's the way I see this, is Facebook is the most amazing platform. 2.4 billion users on Facebook, no matter who it is you serve, they're on there somewhere. Now, think of this. You post something on Facebook, no one sees it. But what a Facebook ad is, is you tell Facebook, hey, here's a post, I'm gonna give you $20 a day, and I want you to show it to more of these types of people. So Facebook says, hey, cool, I'm gonna do that. And I'm going to cap it at 20 bucks a day, like you told me. And I'm going to give you this many leads or this many viewers 
in the process. Cool. Things start to look good. Your numbers look well. They make sense. You're like, I'm going to spend $50 a day. Facebook will give you more people. I'm going to spend $100 a day. Facebook will give you more attention, more viewership, more leads. I'm going to spend $1,000 a day. Facebook gives you even more. That's the name of the game. Now, again, I'm not saying blindly just give money to Facebook because you know we're not in the business of adding to the Mark Zuckerberg Foundation. But you think think of this. Facebook is your blog. It's your YouTube channel. It's your best friend if you know how to use it properly. Because every single person, client-wise, you ever want is on Facebook. You just can't reach them unless you are willing to pay to play. Does that make sense? So the, the truth about building an online business is that, quite honestly, it's tougher than building an offline business because of the visibility issue, okay? And so part of the visibility issue is number one, you go the free route and just mass produce content to the point where somehow it's gonna get traction. Or number two, and that's gonna take a long time, a lot of money, a lot of energy, and probably it will burn you out. Number two, and I'm not saying either one is easy, but I'm saying number two, the paid method is smarter and it's simpler. Is it easy? No, you still have to you know, get a couple things dialed in and you can't just waste money. But here's the thing, guys. Like I posted this on Instagram, I don't know, two months ago. At the time, we had 80, 89, 89 weeks in a row of positive ROI running Facebook ads for our business. 89, that's almost, well, now it's more than two years of positive ROI every single week running Facebook ads. And here's the cool thing is, yes, I have a podcast. You know, I create content because I, I can I don't have to, I choose to. I don't rely on stuff like this to grow my business. If I had to rely on a podcast or Facebook Lives to grow my business, I wouldn't be here. And the reason that most businesses fail is because number one, they choose the wrong business model. And number two is they choose the wrong market. And that's the final thing I'll mention here is that the wrong market means everyone. You do not serve everyone. You can serve everyone, but it doesn't mean you should. You have magic, and this is the challenge as a health professional, you've got skills and magic that can make a big difference in a lot of people's lives, right? You could probably help all sorts of conditions, and that's a good and bad thing because it's a very distracting thing to say, well, I could help these people and these people and these people and these people. But that's like going to a restaurant that claims to be the best Mexican, Japanese, Italian, Canadian, American, Caribbean, and Moroccan food. Like no one, no one believes that, right? So the name of the game is you have to specialize. You have to specialize. Think of a doctor. Brain surgeons make a lot more money than general practitioners, right? Why? Because few people can do what they do. And when someone has a brain issue, trauma, whatever, they're going to the brain surgeon, not the general practitioner. So think about in your business, who do you want to be a brain surgeon for? I want to be the brain surgeon, quote unquote, for women with hyperthyroidism, or I want to help those with adrenal fatigue, or I want to help uh, burnt out executives, you know, re-energize their life. Like you need to focus on one specific target market at a time. Everyone have this has the same issue. They're all doing the same thing, and that allows you to scale your delivery. Because even if you do figure out the attraction side of things, like you get clients coming in, if you're delivering one-on-one. -on -one, to a multitude of different people, you're gonna burn out. It's, 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 it's only a matter of time because you have to have different protocols and different ways of helping different people. But what we teach is helping, at least at one given moment in time, helping one cohort, one single target market with one problem, they all follow the same protocol. So now if you've got one person, cool, if you have 10, great. If you've got 50, they're all doing the same thing. And that means that you can leverage your coaching you don't have to trade time for money. You don't have to be the cog in the machine anymore. And now you can reach more people because you can scale your business, okay? So that is you know, the two things you wanna consider with building an online business is number one is your target market, and number two is your business model. Now what we teach, as you may or may not know, is what we call a perfect client pipeline, which is a four-step business model where we look at using Facebook to amplify a message, we invite people to a training, we invite them to fill out an application to book a call with us. That's it, okay? And that's exactly what we've helped hundreds and hundreds of our clients do, and it works every single time. The only time it doesn't work is if you stop doing the work or you let fear stand in the way or whatever. Um, but the thing is, this is the simplest path. It's the fastest path to get the result that you want. And listen, I understand that not everyone is in a position to spend money, but you have to. Because the other, like, 
get a credit card. I take out another credit card. I don't care. You know, if you're sitting on a mortgage, take out a second mortgage on your house. Like you have to be willing to do these things if you want to build a business. Okay? Because if you don't do that stuff, here's the reality is you don't believe in yourself. I took out a second mortgage on my house to reinvest in my business because I had the opportunity to do so. And I could have put that money into a condo that was being pre-constructed. And then I was like, hold on, that's going to take four years to see an ROI from. And at most I might get, you know, I don't know, not even double my return, not, not even double my return. Or I could put that in my business and double that money in 30 days. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Now, Again, what you do with your money is up to you, but I'm saying you have to be of the mindset that you can make magic work. You can you can figure things out. You can, with the right system, the right coaching, the right support, whatever, you can do what it is you have to do. And if you are not willing to spend a little bit of money to grow your business, it's just, I'm, listen, I don't wanna be the bearer of bad news, but it's just probably not gonna happen. And if it does, it's going to be tiny little improvements and it's going to take a long time to get anywhere. And I don't want that to happen to you because you have a gift that can help a lot of people, right? You playing small is selfish. You playing scared is selfish because every single day you play scared and safe, thousands of people that you could be serving are wondering where you are. They're waiting for your solution. They're waiting for you to get out of your own way, to get out of your own head and have the cojones to say, you know what, I'm gonna give this a shot and I'm gonna take my business seriously. It's not a hobby, it's a business. And every business has some type of investment. Do you think airlines pay for their airplanes in all cash? No, they use massive amounts of credit. Do you think a restaurateur opens up a restaurant with a briefcase of cash? No, they go to the bank and they get a credit line. Every business uses credit because that's the smart way of doing things. No one in their right mind would use their own money to build something. Use other people's money. And in your case, other people's money is your potential clients. Your clients pay for the growth of your business. So if you don't have money, you have a credit card, great. Throw $1,000 on your credit card, run Facebook ads. Guess who pays for your credit card? The client you enroll. Oh, cool, that worked. Let's do it again. If I showed you my Amex bill from this month, you would probably drop. You would like, you know, I don't even know. Our Amex bill, this month is more than some people's houses. Now I'm not saying that to brag or whatever, that's the level of which I believe in myself and in my company and what we wanna do. I'm not saying you have to spend that amount of money, but you have to be willing to invest in your business and in yourself if you wanna take this seriously. So if you're willing to get out of your own way and if you want our help to make this happen, go to workwithfury.com and book a call to speak with us. Let's have a chat about where you're at where you want to go and let's see if we can help you get there again there's three things that we require in any client that works with us number one you have to be amazing at what you do you can't just like got certified last weekend and never work with anyone you have to be amazing at what you do because that leads to number two which is massive self-confidence because if you don't have confidence in yourself no amount of coaching no program is going to solve that okay that's a big one and third is you have to have courage you have to have courage to step into the unknown, to step into the uncertainty, to step into the fear because you believe in your dream more than your current situation. If you've got those three traits, we can do some pretty awesome stuff together. But let's uh, figure out if there's a good fit in the first place. So just go to workwithfury.com, uh, fill out a couple questions just to give us a sense of where you're at, and then you can book a call uh, once you've done that, and we'll take it from there. All right, so guys, that is the truth about building an online business, okay? That's the deal. So if you're watching this uh, in the group, let me know your comments in the, in the comment section below. And if you're listening to this on the podcast, either on YouTube or audio, great, awesome. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, uh, be sure to hop on over to iTunes. Give us a five-star review if you've enjoyed this episode, and not just this episode, but the podcast. And take a screenshot of it. Share it on social. Tag at Healthpreneur1. Hit me up on Instagram. And there we go. All right, guys. Have an amazing day. I'll speak to you soon. Hey, thanks so much for joining us on this episode of the Health Printer Podcast. If you've enjoyed this episode, here's what I'd like you to do right now. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the Health Printer Podcast on iTunes. And while you're there, leave us a rating or review. It helps us get in front of more people and change more lives. And if you're ready to start or scale your health or fitness coaching business and want to start getting in front of more people, working with them at a higher level without trading time for money, 
then I invite you to check out our free seven figure health business blueprint training, totally free right now. And you can do so at healthpreneurgroup.com forward slash training. For now, thank you so much for joining us. Continue to be great, do great. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.